Action, Michael Guest. I've got Riley Gordon and Wayne Gordon with me, uh, just fishing one of these fantastic river systems on the mid north coast of New South Wales, and really having a bit of a look to see how they've recovered after all that rainwater, the floods that came through here this year was just incredible, wasn't it? Was, really? Yeah, yeah. So it's given it a bit of a scour out. So we're going to chase things like flathead brim, maybe a bass, and you never know, maybe even a mulloway. Uh, marked a few nice fish on the side scan so far. A couple of nice bunches of mulloway. A couple of those look like pretty big ones yeah, too. Yeah. So uh, throwing a different range of lures at the moment. And uh, it's a beautiful day, I've got to tell you. Early at the moment, and we're going to go right through that whole tide chain system. We've got a run-in tide at the moment, then we've got obviously the run-out, and then another run-in later on this afternoon. So I reckon we're a, we're a good chance of finding all sorts of things, but this place is renowned for big flathead as well. Just marked a big school of Mulloway on the side scan. Oh wow, they are just coming through there at the moment, just out to the right. So um, I've got a vibe on at the moment, and the boys have got soft plastics on, but there is a truckload. Have a look at the sounder. Just follow me down here at the moment. Have a look here on the side scan. They are all Mulloway. Just come down the river, so they're about, we're on 30 metres out that way, so they're, they're just out in that, uh, that patch there. So we've just um, parked here for a minute with the electric motor, and some cars in but they're certainly there whether we can get a bite off them or not they're funny things Jewies at times or Mulloway I should call them they, uh, they don't always feed when you want them to but they're certainly there yep yep oh, oh it's a floody. A floody. oh yep floody. Oh. got one too double whammies couple little floodies here Kesty oh this mate the game. Only little, but <laughs> it's been a tough morning, so it'll do. Double hookup on uh, two of the smallest flathead we've put yes. on real action, well, actually, but that's yeah, okay. No. <laughs> that's <laughs> it works. Take what you can get at the moment. Yeah. There's not a lot going on. Flatty, yep. Oh, that's a better one. Yeah, mate, I'm just coming across that, over that drop off there, and this flathead has absolutely engulfed this. Let's get him in the, him in the net. They thrash their head around a bit, the old. Oh, <laughs> they do. <laughs> oh, oh look just, at that hook fell out too. Just <laughs> popped out there then. Well, that was a lucky one. I'll just slide a glove on. You're happy for me to pick your fish up? Yeah, mate, go for, for it. Sure. Yep. You'll, you'll be bagging me out about it later, I'm sure, but that's right. So how deep is it, you reckon, where you cast it? I'd say it'd only be half a metre. No. Maybe, well, maybe even shallower than that and worked yeah. it back and they're sitting, there's a little rise in the sand there and they just must sit there and wait for the bait to come over the top of it and... Bang. Exactly. And we're in around that new moon at the moment, yep. so they're feeding on prawns. That's yep. imitating really a wounded bait fish or splashing on the surface of prawn. I haven't seen, when, when prawns go black like that, it usually means you, you want to throw, throw them out. out. Yeah. <laughs> they're not much good, but it's done the job, that's for sure. Oh, let's get back in the drink, eh? These gloves are the way to handle them, aren't they? Yeah. All right. Got him? Yeah. Another little fish. Oh, actually, he's not too bad a fish. No, he, he's all right. He's all right. He'll do. He'll do. He'll do. He'll do. Hang on. Oh, you got He'll... me. I'm going to have to switch sides here in a minute. Yes. You... Oh, head shakes, head shakes, oh. head shakes. Yes. And he's in the net. 
Mm, and what a stunt ball. He's yep. just... So he's hit that. I wonder sometimes if they hit them head first, he's actually grabbed that yeah. tail first, yep. that one. Changed it up there, did you guess? Oh, I have. It's gone a bit quiet. We've got a few flathead on the surface so far. And uh, Ooh, around that new moon, we've got, got uh, plenty of water pumping out. So, uh, what, what are we going to do in a river system? What can we go and target? And I thought, let's see if we can't catch a few brim around the rock wall. So, yeah, scale it down. So, still running a reasonably big jig head for brim fishing, eighth of an ounce jig head, but just a little. I think it's called a pulse worm, that lure, or camo one, and just drop it down along the rock wall and bounce it along, and there'll be a few brim there. We might try and do that for a little while. It's a magnificent day. There's a few back eddies along the rock wall, and they'll be a bit easier to fish, Definitely. won't they, until we yep. get to the death of that tide. So Done the job anyway, that yeah. one. Oh, here's a little brim, I think. I finally got myself a brim. That's a better fish. It is. I knew you'd come good eventually. Yeah, well, you were calling me the flathead king, and I <laughs> had to change it up a bit. And there he is. Beautiful. Oh, that's nice. There he is. They eat oysters and all sorts of things, little crabs and, and uh, anything, any little soft plastic yep. that resembles a tiny little bait fish or a crustacean is going to get a bite, isn't it? And they're a great bit of fun too. Like, you know, we've started off with a flathead, and then we've downsized. Oh. Yeah. And one to three, oh. I think this is one to three yep. and two to three, uh, two to four kilo tackle and a bit of six pound braid and some yep. six pound fluorocarbon leader. You can have a ball of fun and you'll still get some bigger fish. Oh, excellent. Yeah. You yep. might, you might yep, get smoked, right. dusted, yep. but hey, <laughs> it's all that's part of the fun. <laughs> it is. Exactly. Great. Off you go, mate. Oh. Yep. Oh, that's yep. a good fish. Oh, yeah. Just pick that one up there, boys. Yep. Looks like a good fish. Jesus. Well, Riles, it's a it's a bigger brim. This one, get the net go. under there. Yes, <laughs> he's a very nice fish. Ah, uh, so, oh, careful there. It's all about lightening up, I reckon. So I went to a lighter jig head again, and uh, only that six pound leader, and it makes a difference to get those bigger fish to bite than catching some smaller ones. But that's that next size up, and they go like a train. Fantastic sport fish. Our brim competition's going pretty well in the boat at the moment, so I reckon I'm on the leaderboard. We'll see how the other lads go. Off you go, bud. Morning. Oh, what you got, Riles? Oh, go. not too sure at all. Oh, that's going all right. You got him? I'll wind yeah. in, mate, and I'll get the net for you, eh? Looks yeah. like it's going all right. It's going all I right. I can see, what do you reckon they were on the sounder? They look like hair tail to you. Yeah. I reckon they might have been. So I'll grab the net. Let's pull in a bit of string. Oh, oh. no, it's a big hair tail. Monster hair look tail. Look at the size of that. Oh. See if we can get, oh, hang on. Oh. Come around one more time there, mate. He's he, coming he's in. He's in the net, yeah. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's a that's a beauty. Check that thing out. That is. What's the teeth? Oh, I got bitten off before and I was wondering what uh, what the heck it was. And don't you oh look, don't you get bitten off. <laughs> <laughs> Come up here, Gordo. Come and have a look at this. Check that out. Woo! <laughs> Now where I come from, that is a beauty. Yeah, Newcastle, well done. Newcastle Harbour. We That's get a cracker. We get a heap of these. It's got these chrome sides. If you've never seen a hair tail, you can see why. It's got that tiny little hair right there. It looks a bit like the ones growing out of your beard there. But um, <laughs> they're these chromey looking things. They go like a train. And check the choppers out. You might have your vibe in there. Check. Yeah, well, I got bitten off there before. Check the choppers out on that thing. Have a look at the dental work. On that thing there. Yeah, look how rightly. <laughs> They're weird things, they don't have scales. They've got this massive dorsal fin, the longest dorsal fin in the history of fish. They look a bit like those, you know those things you see on documentaries where they, um, right over the, over the edge of the continental shelf, they live like lantern fish and they've yep, got that yep. thing that they, they look a bit yep. like that around they the do, head, yeah. I reckon. And that's how they mark on the sounder. Yeah, like straight sticks, up and down. straight up and yep. down. Vertical. 
Wow, that's a crack <laughs> that of that. A good <laughs> that's a big hair tail. Beautiful. I couldn't get over how well it fought. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon I had one on before on the yeah. vibe, mate, so well done. That's that's a beauty. Marine Rescue New South Wales has more than 3,000 volunteers to help keep you safe on the water. You can log on with your local Marine Rescue base when you're heading out. You can call them back to check your marine radio is working. Best of all, they'll come to your rescue if you break down or worse. It costs a lot to provide this world-class service, so make sure you support your local volunteers whenever you get the chance. Marine Rescue New South Wales, volunteers saving lives on the water. Got him. Got a bite there, lads? Oh, yeah. Come on. Back to the plastic, eh? Yeah, back to the plastics. Well Is done. that natural? That real natural colour works, I reckon, sometimes. Makes a difference what we got. Oh, what have you got here? Oh, shit! What happened then? Hit me in the bloody shoulder. You right? <laughs> Did he bite you? Yep. Go oh, Gasty. Got him on. Got him on. You have got something on. I have got him on. What have you got on? Well, I, I've been bitten off about four times by big hair tail, so I've added a bit of wire <laughs> to the rig. I found an old mackerel rig and pinched a bit of single strand wire, and I've got one. Right, get ready here, Riles. I'm ready. <laughs> get ready with the net. I've been bitten off a few times, and I'm going to oh, get myself. Mate. What, mate, that's the worst net attempt I've ever seen, Riley Gordon. <laughs> but he's done it this time. <laughs> So, do you want to see my rig? Come up here, Wayne. I'll show you what I did. Oh, I see what rig you hold got. Hold this. Hold this. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, and he's a stumpy. He's not a hair tail at all. He's a stumpy tail. Look at that. He's, he he's the shortest hair tail I've ever caught. <laughs> see this? I grabbed yeah. a mackerel rig and I pinched a bit of single strand wire, and I've got my jig head on there. And then, and then, oh, they fight so hard these things. Look at those teeth. Even with no tail. With no tail. They are just an electric looking thing. So. I got sick of donating expensive vibes to the, the hair tail clan. Look at that. And I don't know what's happened to him, but they've disappeared. So, um, but it's worked late in the afternoon. I think they're a real nighttime predator, aren't they? Yep. Definitely, yep. As soon as that sun goes down, they yeah, just they, switch they just on. Come on the chew. Yep. Newcastle yep. Harbour, they use a lot of bobby corks and yeah, whole pilchards yep. to catch them with um, gank hooks. And uh, yeah, I've, first time I've caught them up in this part of the world. You never know what you're going to catch around here, but uh, I got him that time. That is just. That's reflective, it's just crazy. Have a look at those teeth. That is a prehistoric looking creature right there. Just gonna change uh, size a little bit and go to something a little bit smaller in profile. They're heavily centered, these curly tail grubs. And uh, and there's that, that short piece of wire that I rigged up with a little swivel onto my fluorocarbon leader. And uh, I'll just center that like we do with all of our soft plastics, make sure it's centered and it goes on nice and straight. And I reckon that's just a slightly smaller profile looking at the bait fish that these hair tail are feeding on. I reckon that might fit in his mouth a little bit better than that great big long one, so. I'm on here. I'm, I'm off, I just lost one. <laughs> oh, what, anyway. what, what did you have on? Oh, I don't know. Probably one of the species you've probably got on there. Oh, yeah, it feels like it could be another one of the big chrome-sided What's the names? We've had an amazing, oh no, I thought I'd lost him there for a minute. Had an amazing day here so far. We've had glassed out conditions. He's throwing his head around a bit. We mark him on the sounder, jigging up and down. Come on. Oh, oh. go, go, go. Oh, look out, Gordo, come on. Don't muck this up. Pull him, pull him. Oh, what's oh. happened there? That was the worst no. net shot I've ever seen. Come on, son, here we go. Pull him into the net. No, oh, he's going vertical. He's going vertical on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's going sideways go. and here's your shot, here's your shot. It, oh. <laughs> it's so long. Wait, no. Oh, can you get him? Here we go. Here we go. Here Pulling we go. In. This has got to be it. This has got to be it. Go. Do it. Oh. <laughs> go away. Get him in the net, Gordo. Oh, it's a jumping hair tail this side. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> get him in. Come on! Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Give 
that's a man hug, brother. That was a that was the worst bit of you tried handling. something that's a meter and a half long. <laughs> and that's Eric, Look lift, at that, lift that net up. Lift that. Net. So this was a standard net, um, and then I what I've done is I I got another like the refill net, cut the bottom out, and I've made it into, this is our Dewey. You should have went no, no. another one again. But when I was making this net, I'm going, Dewey's, Barra, Cobia, Kingfish. Next time I make one, I'm going, I'm going to go, I'm going to go yeah, one, get two, <laughs> and put a third one on there for <laughs> hair tail. We'll have our hair tail net. <laughs> oh, righto, now we got, now we're cooking. Look at the size. <laughs> Very nice fish. Look at that. That's a big one. That is you can see why one. I struggled to net it. <laughs> Look out, I'm struggling to hang on to it. <laughs> that's a beauty. Now that's a cracking catch. If you've been catching some ripper fish lately, then send your photo into our Alphabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action Facebook page. To get you hooked up every week, we're giving away a pen rod reel and line combo, an awesome ocean LED underwater light, along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. Hair tail? Oh, I'm not sure, mate. No, it's a little bit smaller than a hair tail. I'm not sure what it is. What do you got? Head, a few head shakes. Oh, it might be a flatty. Go, go, not go. Not sure, flatty. mate. Not sure. Oh, oh it's, it's a little, little Dewey. Little <laughs> Lift him up, swing him in. Go on, I've got him. <laughs> oh, oh, that was on our list. <laughs> so we got flathead, <clears throat> brim, hair tail, and the mighty Mulloway. Well, and that is your PB. That's, not, that's oh, the biggest It's one. not quite a mighty Mulloway, but <laughs> hey. It's a Mulloway. It's a Dewey. It's a, Dewey. It's yep. a Mulloway. And I, you know what? I love the small ones. I just think they, yeah, that they is the cool. perfection not... in a fish. When you look at those little dots along the lateral line there, line there, I should say, that tail, his fins, he's just a gorgeous looking fish. I'll support, right. I'm supporting him there. Look at that. He's just a little pet. Well, we'll get that hook out of him and get him back. Yeah, he's a, he's a beauty. Oh, 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 oh. hang on there, buddy. We don't want to hurt you. Oh, and he's... Hear him croaking? Sure He's doing a little bit of croaking there. Go. Look at that. That's a beautiful fish. Hey, we said Mulloway. Hey, we're ticking uh, some boxes here. Yeah, right? yeah. I've got to an upgrade on that one. Yeah, we have caught them a little bit bigger than that. But that's all right. It doesn't right. matter. Like, you know, good things come in small packages, as my fun. mum used to say. I was the shortest <laughs> of four boys, so that's where <laughs> it comes from. <laughs> I'll slide him back in for you. Is that all right? Go for it. Righto, let's get him back in the water. Oh, look at that. Tiny little fella. Off you go, bud. Oof. I think I might have another little Dewey guesty. Another one. I'm what guessing. What have we got here? Same spot. What have we got? What have oh, we... Flatty. oh, Flatty. Oh, Flatty. Get him up. Get him up. Swing him in. Oh. <laughs> here we go. Right on that tide change. I'm not liking this. I'm going to put this. him down. I reckon you need the glove. Once again, so that was on the vibe. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Like it, and in this dirty tannin stained water, I reckon that bright green and orange is a, is a good colour. These are a bit different, these ones where they got the, the single hooks hanging off the bottom there instead of having trebles. Mm. So, A, so far, hookup rate's been pretty good on and that one. Yeah. And re release too, like yeah. getting the hook out's a lot easier. Yeah, when you're going to release the fish, yep. you haven't got three hooks there. So yep. that's, yep. And they swim, it's, they seem to swim really, they have that really nice tight shimmer, which is what you want from a, a vibration with those hooks hanging off there. So, Good job, flathead love bright orange and they love bright green. You got yep. both in the one one lure there. That's a pretty good fish, eh? Here's a bite. Ooh, yeah. Oh, nice Here bit of weight about this fish. Oh, what, what do you got? Well, I'm not sure, but it's definitely got a lot of weight to it. Some good head shakes. Yeah, where's oh, that? What? Where's that net? You Get wouldn't know out. what it is. Oh, what a weight. What a weight? A head? A lot of, oh, oh, it's a big flatty, big flathead, big flathead. Oh. Come around here. That's it. That's it. Yes! <laughs> yes. Woo. Nice, bloody. That's a cracker. That, oh. That's it. There Take it, Rip. Take it, Rip. Get in there. Hang on, mate. Hang on. <laughs> Support that belly. Right. Wow, look at that. <laughs> for, a, for a big... Just go forward there a bit there, mate, so everyone can see it. around that way. For a big trophy female flathead. That is an absolute beauty. We got some smaller ones there earlier. Uh, on the on the surface, one nice yep. one about 50 centimetres. Yeah, yep. Missed, I missed yep. a big one. You had a really yeah, good one yep. come up there yeah. on those hard bodies, and uh, it's that time of the day now that that uh, that light's getting quite low. We're 
put my jacket on, it started to rain there before, but it's, it's disappeared. So I think we've just got through that sort of tough period of, of weather. Hopefully that barometer's kicking up a bit and it's got some nice fish biting at the moment, including <laughs> He's that- He's there, mate. <laughs> yeah. in, including that big chunky female flathead. That's an absolute ripper. Once again, flathead, they love that green and orange and that vibe's done a perfect job there. That's a, that's a beauty. <laughs> and that's right on that tide chain. Yep. So the water yep. was ripping through here before. At the moment, it's virtually dead still. Yep. We can't emphasise enough. When you get those tide chains, did you, you made that flathead hit me in the face and <laughs> I saw that. We can't emphasise enough how important is the fish those tight, that was on purpose, those tide changes and those low light conditions. We've got both at the moment. We've got virtually not far off sunset and we've got the right of the death of the tide. It's a great time to be fishing. Well, check that out. That's a magnificent big female flathead. We've had a we've had an awesome day, Excellent really. Excellent day today. Yeah. Yes. Started with the lizards, the flathead uh, on on the, on the sand flats, catching them on surface floors. Got some nice brim around the rock walls. Got in, stuck into those mega big silver hair tail. How was that last one I got? That was huge. Was we huge. did measure it in the end there. <laughs> meter sixty four long, one point six four meters long. So it was an absolute cracker, and finished it with Gordo's big flathead right there. I got to tell you. It's been a great day checking out what's happened to the river after the floods. And so far, it's all been pretty positive. Wayne Gordon, yeah. Riley Gordon, Michael Guest, you've been watching Real Action. We'll catch you next time. Bye now. Real Action is brought to you by Pertec with 102 service and supply centres around Australia for all your hydraulic and industrial hose requirements.